Hi, Jake here. Just uh update on the on the diet. We're uh what are we, ten months into it now? And I'm happy to say we've lost uh a lot of weight. Hundred and not we haven't hit our hundred pounds, but we're we're got only sixteen pounds to go, so what is that, 89 pounds, 10, 12, 80, 80, 15, 16 pounds left. So we've lost a bunch of weight. Uh, just thought I'd throw a quick one up here and see what how we're doing. We haven't uh, lost a lot of weight in the last couple months. Just in October, you know, we're almost halfway through October and I'm down, down two pounds. But from the 1st of September, we're down from 189. We just weighed in today at 181. So we're getting close, feeling good feeling good we did some experimentation that we want to talk about my blood pressure is still a little high in the morning for some reason but it's perfect in the afternoons I don't know maybe that's just me maybe I have a little inflammation when I get up in the mornings and we uh, don't uh, lose that inflammation or something till later in the day and then my blood pressure comes down and we're we're just fine but we're feeling good. We did some quick little experimentations that I want to talk about <laughs> because we've been pretty strict on uh, on our diet. We haven't did any processed sugars, processed grains, seed oils, vegetable oils. None of that really makes a difference. I'm going to get up here and give you a profile real quick so that we can see that I'm not fibbing. I got my pants, my shirt tucked in. Got a little to lose around the middle still, but it's coming. Still got through here, we still got to lose. But size 34 pants. I look like I got a body again. Instead of a pumpkin, I'm not a pumpkin no more. I, being that it's almost Halloween. So let's talk about uh, some of the experiments I did. Because I haven't had any processed sugar for almost 10 months. We had a birthday party a week or so ago for our, our little great granddaughter. She just turned one. Rosalie made this big fancy cake. And it looked good. I mean, it smelled delicious. So I thought, well, you know, when we go to the birthday party, I think I might have a piece of, piece of that birthday cake. So I did. Cut me off a little slice. It was a big, pretty good size slice, but it wasn't as big as the other everybody else. And I ate that. And it wasn't 20 minutes and I could feel My, my head starting to uh, pulsate. And by the time I got home, it was like I'd been on a, I ate, drank three or four beers. You know, you get that, that you, I don't know, you start getting alcohol effects. Well, that sugar really started affecting me just like I was on a toot. And I couldn't believe it. I sat in my chair, my chair, and it was just like I was half drunk. And it was just the, the cake. And I mean, it was lots of frosting, and it was pretty sweet because Rosalie put a lot of frosting into it. But my goodness, did we uh, have a reaction? Because you know, when you're zero processed sugars and stuff, and then all of a sudden you take that in your body, it just about did me in. I it took four or five hours to get to start coming down from that sugar high. And but 
when you're on a standard American diet, you don't even realize that you're in it. Everybody else felt just fine. Me, I mean, holy moly, it just about did me in. So I know that that has an effect on a person's body. If that's what it does when, you, when you're not used to it, what happens when you're used to it and you don't realize what's happening to you? My goodness, it was it was something else. It was an eye opener. I might take a little bite of a piece of cake and stuff, but I'm not going to eat a big chunk of cake like that again. That's that just tore my body up for at least four, five, six hours. I mean, it was that evening before I started coming down and starting to feel normal again. And so and I didn't like that feeling. That was not a good feeling. I it was like you're on drugs or something. My goodness. So that was my one experiment that I know that if I'm gonna have a little bite of a cake or a piece of sweets or something, it has to be a small one. You just don't take a piece of cake like I used to eat and and do it. So that was my number one and uh, we, I, I, I thought I was, <laughs> I had been drinking. So my blood pressure, I, I should have took my blood pressure when I was in that sugar high. I don't know if it would have been up or down, but I didn't. And I should have. So next, if we do an experiment, I'll take my blood pressure and see how that is. The uh, other experiment I did is uh, Monday Night Football. I thought, God, i just like to splurge just a little bit, see how, how it was. So I thought, you know, I could make a small bowl of popcorn. Don't, don't pop it in uh, vegetable oil. I was going to pop it in lard. And so I thought, well, let's see what happens. I'll pop it in lard and then put butter and salt on it, just like normal. But usually if I have popcorn and I popped it in uh, vegetable oil, it gives me indigestion. And I haven't had indigestion in 10 months. So I thought, well, let's, let's see how that goes. So I popped a quarter cup of popping corn in my popper and put some butter and salt on it. It tasted delicious. Watched a football game and uh, everything. I I went to bed and about four o'clock in the morning, my back started aching like you can't believe. And it was just like I went right back to the way I was. And I thought, holy moly, I got up and I could hardly walk, hardly sit. I couldn't sit in my chair for very long. My back was hurting. And I thought with this diet, maybe it fixed my back and my back wouldn't hurt no more. And I couldn't believe that my back was hurting and it was, and it was that popcorn. Whatever's in corn, like Dr. Uh, William Davis, I got his uh, book, Wheat Belly, 10 Day Grain Detox. And I'll tell you what, I read it, and it's uh, he's right when it says that, that grain is not good for you because it has stuff in it that don't it don't want to get et, and when you eat it, it's going to make you pay. And it did; it made me pay, and it was a day. My back started getting, but it, my back came back a lot quicker. I must admit, my back started feeling better the next day. And by that evening, I was feeling pretty good. I could get up and out of my chair without uh, putting my hands on my knees and pushing myself up. And that was another thing. I don't want to do that again. So I guess popcorn's off the list for for me because it just goes right to my back and hurts. And I, I can't have that. So that's one experiment that we did. I've been experimenting with... Uh, a potato here and there and it slowed my my weight loss has slowed dramatically so I know that it's but that's basically because I'm 
I've lost a lot of fat in your body stores a certain amount of fat all the time so but I'm still got to get around the middle here I got a lot of a lot of fat in there but here not too bad under here anymore that has helped I've been lifting weights two 20 pound barbells and walking and being active and that that helps so like I said, we're down to 181, and I don't know if we're going to get to 165, but I'm, my body kind of likes this 180-pound range, and but I'm just going to stay on this eating habit. I'm going to stay with my one meal a day, mostly. <laughs> so now we got to talk about when, you know, if I get a little hungry around 1, 2 o'clock, I will take I'll snack on something like a piece of meat or something like that and then have my uh, my dinner about four or five o'clock last couple of nights I've been needing fairly late because I've been working on some songs and stuff and it's absolutely freezing outside 12 degrees yesterday 15 degrees this morning it snowed the other day here it is it ain't even halfway through October and we're already in the winter so I thought well I'll just stay in the music room here and work on some tunes and so that's what I've been doing and there but my my feet so I've been eating later like seven eight o'clock at night I've been having like I had a little piece of pot roast filled me right up and I'm a couple hours I was in bed and I didn't didn't bother me matter of fact I lost a quarter of a pound and then uh, last night I did the same thing it was uh, two chicken thighs and a salad at about eight o'clock and that filled me right up and when I'm working I don't get hungry I have my coffee you know I take a sip of coffee through the day and and that seems to tide me over and when I'm working on a, some music or something I don't even uh, time flies by it's <laughs> next thing I know Rosalie's banging on the door saying hey are you going to eat today I said what time is it she says it's almost eight o'clock oh okay I could have went she wouldn't uh, bug me. I probably would have slipped through and did a 48-hour fast. But uh, if I I do that, I get in trouble with her. She she's adamant about me not fasting more than just my 24 hours. But then if I do get hungry earlier in the day, then I will have a little snack like some pork rinds or something in the evening, and that. That works just fine too. So, one meal a day with a little snack either before they get me to my meal or I'll eat my meal and then it's a little later. So, I might not have ate enough uh, in my uh, day. And and you got to eat enough because I think your metabolism will slow down. That's a lot of it, is I've been trying to limit what I've been eating and that slowed my metabolism down. So, now I'm not losing as much weight. So, I got to kick. Re readjust some stuff but it's it's slowly coming off like I said I've lost almost 10 pounds in since the first of September or, and I hopefully within the next three weeks I get down into that 170 range and when I'm in the 170 I'm going to tweak it some more I'm going to try to still keep the one meal a day and maybe a little snack before it or behind it oh and I've been our apple trees are just loaded and so I've been peeling and having a little apple snack uh, I, I peel the, the skin off it slice in fours eat a little apple that was a snack instead of a piece of meat it was a, an apple snack doesn't seem to affect uh, my eating habits so who knows Homegrown. I know there's no uh, 
no pesticides or anything on them. I, they're just as fresh and as good as you can have. So that's that's some of the little experiments I've been I've been doing with this, and it it is slowed. Like I said, we're going to keep an update. So I didn't want to bore you too long. This is running a little long, so I'm running my mouth. So that's the update. 181 pounds. 11th of October. Looking good. Feeling good. Can't beat it. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.